construction industry is huge, and there's a lot of waste produced by the, by the construction industry. And uh, we found that about 40% of all landfill volume is actually construction and demolition debris. And so uh, we wanted to see if there was a way to reduce the amount of waste from construction that we were putting into landfills. There's a lot of stigma against using waste, and, and yet it can be used in a very clean and creative way. If you start with a, a waste uh, materials, it could be paper or yard waste or what, food waste, what have you. There's microorganisms that are anaerobic, no oxygen, that will take that material and break it down and produce methane, uh, biogas methane. And so we capture the gas and then, and then fix it, sequester it in a valuable product. There it is. There's a resource that we can now use. And it's a very cheap resource. So once we capture the methane gas, we feed it to our unique microorganisms that produce a biopolymer. We harvest this biopolymer, and you can use this for either plastic applications, or you can combine it with natural fibers for a wood substitute. Once this material ends up at the landfill, we can then close the loop and restart our production process to make more biopolymer. One of the big applications in the beginning might be something like formwork, because that's a material that's used on a construction site just a few times, and then either recycled or often landfilled. Um, so it doesn't need to last for a really long time. And then other places that it might be used in the beginning would be things like flooring or siding, paneling, decking, and residential construction in particular. So we started off as wanting to do a construction material, but then realized that there's such a huge market just for making all of the different kinds of plastics. You know, everything from credit cards to bottles, shampoo bottles, uh, all the different kinds of plastics we have, plastic bags and so on. Those things uh, are also uh, something we, we can potentially replace, and so that's where the bioplastics could come in. Using the research from Sarah Billington and Craig Criddle's lab, we are in the process of starting a company called Mango Materials. Our key focus is to be able to produce commercial samples of this biopolymer, and we need to be able to produce 50-pound bags to give to trial customers. So our first goal is to be able to scale up the process and to produce commercial samples. This research was originally funded by an environmental venture projects grant from the Stanford Woods Institute for the Environment. So what are the environmental venture projects and why do we have them at Stanford? They are designed to fire up the imagination and the interest and the ingenuity of the researchers we have at Stanford. Bring them together, put their minds together and think in out of the box, uh, collaborative and multidisciplinary ways about how are we going to create solutions to solve some of the major environmental and sustainability challenges that we face this century. 